Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And so today I can let you guys know what I packed to hospital. Uh, hari ni juga genap 34 weeks. So I dah kena prepare my hospital bag. I'll include every single thing ni dalam bag tu. Okay, I'm gonna start with mummy's item first. So I dah divide. This one is for mummy's item. And then another one is for baby's item. Kita akan start dengan um, what should I wear after bersalin. Okay, this one ada like kimono punya baju. Then ada tali boleh ikat. Bawa ni, I bawa extra shirt. Black shirt, you know, uh, safe, color safe. Then ada uh, yoga pants. Lepas tu, kita ada juga um, sweater cardigan towel for mommy. I also include two socks. Uh, tak payah tebal pun tak apa. At least we have socks to cover our feet then only one to do. Tak apa kalau tak cukup rumah dekat je dengan hospital. This one kain batik. The traditional one I bought at Bandung. Nursing bra. Nursing bra satu ni I beli brand Autumn and this one Luna V punya. Ni yang paling best as recommended from mummies out there about 2 je for 2 days and then we also have the disposable underwear this one I beli dekat uh, Watson disposable breast pad this one brand Luna V ok I beli I ada another stock lagi just in case I ada slipper I ada another slipper yang I bawa so this one untuk pakai like dalam kot dalam bilik tu je ok then what else we have the maternity towels, maternity pad, uh, I takkan bawa semua ni. So, maybe I can pack like 10 juga ke. And then, we move on to mummy. What else? Mummy. This buku record kesihatan ibu. So, yang paling penting. And then, also bring yasin. Pes. Sebab I see semua kat dalam ni kan. So, senang apa-apa nanti. Okay, since kita ada this maternity bra. So, I also bought B Pantene punya brand The Cream This one untuk nappy rash Boleh guna untuk baby And then boleh guna untuk mummy juga Mummy untuk nipple As for baby's item I'm gonna start with You know after baby dilahirkan I plan untuk let my baby pakai baju ni Sebab initial nama dia Tapi this one yang tak ada sock semua tu lah Ataupun pakai The white one This one yang dah ada Sock sekali, sekali dengan kaki tu Then baju dia long sleeve Also The mittens Okay as for the slip suit Ini slip suit that I bought from next baby Yang ni best gila Sebab apa, tengok dia punya Slip suit dah ada sekali Dengan kaki dia I like how the design dia punya slip suit ni and for tangan we don't need dia punya mitten sebab apa you can turn around like this let me show you kejap eh oh, see kita turn around dia daripada yang ada lubang macam ni so yang tadi tu kita tarik terus jadi mitten one's hat senang so this one I bawa tiga je tu dua tiga and then another one spare just in case, you sesuai sekali dengan dia punya mittens, booties and then kita ada dia punya topi, baju and seluar. I also bawa another topi untuk my baby. Dia two side. So, kita boleh save space. Macam bawa dua topi lah. And we also need like kain, napkin. Um, this one I bought from Ikea. The 10 sets all together. So, I bawa tiga je. How to differentiate tepi dia Dia tiga-tiga colour Lain-lain Oh lupa nak mention I also ada bawa baru dia This one baru yang bertali And then Yang corak punya So kita ada Baru From Bundle of Joy I beli online Ni velcro Okay Lepas tu strap Yang bawah ni pun Bertali plain punya So I bawa tiga saja. But mostly baju dia plain So bila pakai yang corak nanti nampak I also bawa towel for my baby. The blue one, penguin. Hello. And then sweater. Ada dua juga. This two is from IKEA. Murah je. You guys can have it. Very affordable. And another one 
ni gift daripada you know one uh, Instagram shop for pampers juga I try dry pers we we dry the newborn size it's not recommended by my cousin dia kata try lah dry pers dulu untuk newborn but beli satu pack dulu sebab apa baby cepat besar and then nanti dia dah change to size S kan I bawa like 10 pieces okay, just in case and then we have wet shoe toiletries these toiletries um, I bawa combine together mummy punya and baby punya so you can see here dalam ni ni laundry bag <laughs> dah ikat dah siap ada sanitary bag lagi this one hotel punya bawa je and then baby punya sikat I dah ready for baby I ada beli um, daripada Cetaphil sebenarnya ni travel punya so senang kan sebab dia kecil dan I bawa to hospital satu uh, lotion then gentle wash and shampoo and then my face wash my you know sabun kita juga ada nasal punya ni cleaner this one from brand pigeon very handy and I suka sebab dia comes in ada packaging dia so senang untuk travel I pun bawa just in case this terima recommended by my friend sister and also Anizalika baby minyak telun bedak dia tapi baby newborn kan tak payah bedak lah kot sebab dia orang pun dah wangi I also ada bawa shaver then my toothbrush bawa spray bawa ubat gigi I also bawa my coconut oil tanah merah kalau lah tak cukup kan untuk baby juga I ada bawa this thermometer tapi macam um, farmasi cakap usually dia orang guna ni untuk baby 6 months ke atas buat untuk check temperature from telinga so since kita kat hospital rasanya um, unnecessary juga untuk bawa sebab you know kita monitored by nurse like all the time and other things to pack is this Haka manual breast pump I don't know if I should bring this but you know just in case kita bawa je lah my um, air yasin ni air yasin satu botol air zam zam pun ada tapi tak pack lagi sebab dalam botol besar so ni ni untuk memudahkan bersadin insyaAllah ni air selusuh ni eh minyak selusuh ni dah dibaca apa semua doa doa if there ada like complication ke masa nak bersalin kan kita minum ni ok I think ready so I bawa spare batteries untuk my Polaroid and for food untuk energy I bawa juga my you know kurma ni kurma ajwa and then what else ok the important thing paling penting adalah charges so i guess that's all from the list this is what i bring and what i pack in my hospital bag hope it helps you and to those yang dah nak bersalin may you guys have like a smooth delivery sama juga macam i thank you for watching